a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Mr. Untouchable. All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come off fight. So here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.E. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose, not my Eunice, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Movement to slip the left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kicking combinations. 
Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Just over three minutes to go round one. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. He loaded up there on that high kick. Circling to his right. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice hook lands. Two minutes now to go in the round. Come on, keep busy, keep busy. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice one, two there. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. And there comes the separation now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Way to hide that leg kick. now remain in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ten seconds. Another shot lands upstairs. Just a slip there. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive through, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, 
give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him with his hip to that kick. improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Give me that hook and a high kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Blocks the shot. Just over three minutes to go in round two. High cross, baby, high cross. Give him a high cross. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, wow! Head kick! There it is, take a shot now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good night if that landed. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Oh, beautiful strike. Keep your head in it. Keep your head in. There's no kill on that leg kick. All oh, collar tie. And they set it. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Kick over and over again. Nice leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. They continue to exchange. Boy, tie plump. Oh. Try to establish that jab. Great punch. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. He's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Two rounds in the books. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Beautiful punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Can't take any of those, you better check. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Great punch, landed with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Whiffs on This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Come on, keep busy, guys. Keep busy. Strong outside leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice loose bunch. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Huge block there. Slips. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice punch there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice kick. Seconds to go. That 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to oh, admire yeah. the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice straight punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Ooh, nice knee to the body, very nice. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Body. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, what a punch. Punch coming is blocked. Nice leg kick lands. Over and over he landed these big body kicks. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice defense there, huge block. Relax, relax, keep your hands up. <laughs> that one's sick, man. Nice strike. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good punch, Lance. Nice head kick. Look at him drive his shin into his own body. Blocks the shot. How about that shin? Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Two minutes to go. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Visibly limping here. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. What a run. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Right. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it down with the right time. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Listen, we're down on the scorecards right now. He's winning the stand -up. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Right, a guys, high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, hey. and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big leg kick lands. Big punch lands. Head kick. Head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, high level stuff here. Catches the kick and now counters with the takedown. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Go. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Goes to the body with the knee. Circling towards the left now. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Big knee to the body! Big head kick land. Snapping off that jab. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Got flipped with the right hand. Two minutes now to go in this one. It's okay. He's going. Beautiful He's leg kick throw. <laughs> Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Punches blocked. Punch lands. Come on, man. Let's get that Flush right hand is true. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. 
beautiful kick. One minute to go in the fight. Ooh. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Back in the clinch, look for him to hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas tank. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, big shot, man. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. What a fight! All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47. 50-45 and 48-47. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Mr. Untouchable. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance.